today's verse is taken from the gospel according to John chapter 6 verse 51 and it reads I am the living bread that came down from heaven if anyone eats of this bread he will live forever and the bread that I will give for the life of the world is my flesh our verse makes part of the last section of chapter 6 of the fourth gospel remember chapter 6 begins with the sign of the multiplication of the five body loaves and two fish to feed the 5,000 men. Immediately follows the episode of Jesus walking on the water. The last section of this chapter is now the long discourse about the bread of life and this is exactly where our verse comes in. In the bread of life discourse, this is the fifth time Jesus claimed to be the bread from heaven. But in this verse, he is very emphatic by saying, I am. Here, the genius of Christianity emerges. God no longer asks men for offerings, gifts, sacrifices, but it is he who offers sacrifices, gives, and loses himself inside his creatures like bread inside the body. This sounds like a scandal to the Jews when Jesus speaks about the bread of life being his own flesh. Jesus chose bread as a symbol of his entire life because in order to become bread, there is that long process involved. The process of becoming bread is that of those who love without counting their efforts. Christ becomes bread so that each one of us should become bread for someone else. A piece of bread that tastes good for the people we love. Jesus made our salvation radical because he introduced into the deepest part of our life this possibility of no longer living for ourselves but for him. It is the real and symbolic verb that he uses to achieve this. Real because we really eat him in the bread of the Eucharist. Symbolic because there is much more to that gesture than what meets the eye. That partaking in the Eucharist, we may enter into profound communion with Christ and with our brothers and sisters to the point of transforming our lives as a gift to others. We thank you, Lord, for the gift of the Eucharist. May it strengthen us to go forth and share your love with all our brothers and sisters. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. May you be benedicted abundantly.